1,000 of these people have been on hunger strike for 30 days. Four of these people are elected MPs. There are women, children, journalists, lawyers, intellectuals, and mayors, political representatives of Kurds behind bars in Turkey. All they want is a political and peaceful solution to the Kurdish question. Turkey has 20 million Kurds living under its school. And unfortunately, they do not have their basic human rights. Kurds don't have their right to language, their right to their culture, their right to their identity, and their right to self-governance under Turkish rule. The Turkish state has massacred more than 650,000 Kurds in the past 80 years. We call this a genocide. Apart from physical genocide, Turkey has implemented cultural, language, assimilation policies, and has committed political genocide by arresting representatives of Kurds and Kurdish politicians every time they have been elected to parliament.